How you doing guys and welcome to another collector's edition opening. This time we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on the Xbox One. And funny story about this thing is as soon as it was announced it actually sold up sold out relatively quickly and it had been sold out for quite some time until about a week before it was supposed to be released. GameStop actually got a bunch of these back in stock so I went ahead and took the chance of snagging one of those and I got one. And I was contemplating for the longest time whether or not I would actually get one off of eBay and pay the scalper prices. But I held out and it was darn good that I did because luckily I was able to get one for retail. Uh, this right here retailed for $99.99 and it comes with the game, the uh, deluxe content, and then obviously you can see right there an actual Tony Hawk skateboard. Now, since I did get this from GameStop, I did get the pre-order bonus, which was this little finger board thing, which if you remember these things are basically, what well, I don't even, Tech Deck? Is that what they used to make these? I don't know. But a uh, pretty cool little bonus to have with it. I don't plan on opening that, but definitely nifty to get free stuff, like pre-order bonuses when you pre-order a game that you wanted anyways. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Before we actually open up the box and take a look, I am gonna take a look at the back real quick, just to give you a quick little glimpse of what you're looking at in the back here. Looks like it does have that digital deluxe edition content, as I stated before. Now I did actually already open this up. I didn't spend too much time looking at the board itself. I just really wanted to get the game installed and played. <laughs> But uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is actually one of my most nostalgic games. I grew up with the Nintendo 64, and sure enough, I did play through Tony Hawk 1 and 2, and I was actually pretty good at it. So, that's what the disc looks like itself, and then the uh, digital deluxe code, which is on the back of that. So far, I've gotten pretty decently far into the game, and I'm really enjoying the ever-living crap out of it. It's a very nice nostalgic blast. And there she is. That is Tony Hawk's signature, but it's not actually a signature on the board, unfortunately. That would have been epic to actually get his signature on the board. Very nice. I really love how it says Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on there. I really like that touch right there. Now I know a lot of people probably got this uh, to support the game. And I'm sure many people plan on actually using this board. I do not. I'm by no means a skateboarder anymore. I'm a man in his 30s already. But uh, I do think that this will be a really easy item to display. Just a couple nails into a wall and just hold it up from the bottom there. One thing I do want to point out is that the board itself on the front does not have grip tape on it. It's just the plain board. Which is actually interesting that they still put the Birdhouse logo and the wood. I've never actually seen an official skateboard without grip tape, so maybe this is how they do it in all their boards. But a uh, nice little detail that I did not know or expect. So there it is again, guys. I know this is a shorter video, but I definitely wanted to take a moment to just appreciate this and put it into a video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys very soon.